Do us a subscribe as so you welcome back again on this platform, BVI Channel 1, where truth is the gospel we preach. Criminality have become the order of the day in our homeland today. And across Nigeria as a whole, kidnappers, ritualists, and all manner of violent crime is now the new normal. What is the cause? Bad governance. This is what happened at Opi Weka, of which some of you have seen already. Kidnappers. The war for one night. One chance. One chance. Brand new day. Bandits. Criminals. Bloody bastards. Look at them. Idiot. Now this one, we won't, we won't shoot me. This one. Go go pony, go go pony, show love. Come on, line up. See this woman. See fine girls. I no get work. I swear. I no get work. I no get anything to do for life. I no, I no. If I show, I no do show. Idiot. Come go. Brand new day. I swear. I call don't fool. I don't go allow us drink drink water drop cup. Six. The story had it that these people disguising as passengers in a bus loaded and some unsuspecting innocent passengers entered the bus and as they were moving before they get to Headbridge they brought out guns and mandated their victims to stand down but unknowingly for them one of the passengers is a cadet navy cadet lowered his phone how he did it I don't know but sent a message across to his colleagues at Headbridge. They all mopped up and arrested these criminals. That is what happened. Now the question is, what is triggering the level of criminality happening in Nigeria? I'm more concerned about our homeland. The bottom line of it all is bad governance now look at these people just take a look at them what can you make of them these are the wretched people without hope that if you ask them what they expect to gain from the proceed of their criminality it is nothing to write home about so criminality or motivation to commit crime can just happen for bare 500 naira that is not enough to buy a loaf of bread. That is how bad things had become in this wicked, failed state you call Nigeria. That is the situation report. If these people have the opportunity to move out and do something meaningful with their lives and come back home with a minimum of a thousand naira or two thousand. I tell you, thousands of these people will not get involved in criminality. Crime will be reduced if not to be exaggerating, at least it will be reduced by 70%. That is the truth. But because the government have ensured that they frustrate every legitimate effort for young people to make a living, legitimate living, if you open up a barber shop, they will come and exploit you. If you set up a kiosk, they will come and harass you. If you decide to hawk, you become a victim. Any little 
little businesses that tried to thrive in our homeland, many have shut down. And when they look at, there is no hope coming forth. What is left is criminality. And that is why it is very important you support the effort we are putting on ground. GGM, Good Governance Ministry. You may say it doesn't concern you, but it will. It is only a matter, matter of time. It will get to your turn. If you think that bad governance doesn't affect you, go and ask victims of crimes and criminality. They won't say it doesn't concern them. It is about time we all run around to support one revolution, the political ministry that had come to liberate our people from failed governance, a government of oppression, a visionless governor. We must bring that to a stop in our homeland. Visionless government, visionless leadership, never do well political class should have no place in our homeland. And it starts with the people taking responsibility in ensuring that men of proven integrity get their vote. And when they do, they must do that massively. I will encourage you, if you want to ensure you or your family or your loved ones or close associate doesn't fall victim of these crimes, support Good Governance Ministry. Spread our message and be part of it. Do not say it doesn't concern you. Do not say election doesn't matter because that is the only avenue to flush out never do well political class. We are out for this campaign because we want to salvage our homeland, Igbo land, and by extension, Biafra land as a whole, which will, in no doubt, spread across and beyond the borders of Nigeria. That is the message. My people, support good governance ministry. Become an ambassador. Become the eyes, the voice of the people around you to expose bad governance. If you can't speak, record it, send it to us. We will expose it. Because that is the only way we will start having responsible government that is responsive to the plight of the people. And that is the only way to fight criminality. I am also Chiller Peters. I'm just one voice. A lone voice crying from the wilderness. Asking our people to join this revolution. It's about time we start our freedom march. I'm signing out. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Drop your comments. Let me have your opinion on this. Stay safe, my people. Bye-bye.